What's up, Food Geek? Chef Nikki here, back with another episode of Nikki Talks Food. It's time to sharpen those knives and get cooking because we are going to make the most amazing crab cakes you've ever had in your life. And cue the crab cake. All right, so we're going to start by small dicing this red pepper. And um, this is actually the proper way to cut up a uh, bell pepper. We're going to um, slice off the top and the bottom and then get the ribs and slice them out. And then from there, we julienne and make our small dice. Into the bowl they go. Next up is uh, small dicing our uh, celery. You can use one or two ribs. I just used one. And then next up is our onion. Small dice our onion. Um, we are going to use a couple of tablespoons. We're not going to use the whole the whole thing. Uh, then we just make our wet mix. The trick to making these crab cakes seem like they're mostly crab and not a lot of filler is by making a really good wet mix. So just uh, a few ingredients and um, I always use one egg per pound of crab meat and um, when I make my wet mix I just mix it up and then I just make sure that when I put my crab in I just fold it in so I have chunks like check that out like that that's how that's how big it should be um, and next up is we're just gonna patty them out so uh, we you know kind of I use a ring to, to make these beautiful little crab cakes. I don't really like when crab cakes look like they're a hamburger patty that your grandma made 200 years ago. You know, I like them to have like square shoulders and be nice and uniform. So I've been making my crab cakes like this for probably, you know, more than 10 years. Once the crab cakes are nice and formed, you're going to top with panko breadcrumbs and then chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes so that they set up. Next, we're gonna make our sauce. So it's just like a basic honey mustard sauce. I use grainy mustard because I really like the texture and I'm using local honey from Capital City Honey Company. Whip that sucker up. Then we fry in clarified butter just so that they're golden brown. We don't want to overcook them. Once they're nice and golden brown, we're just gonna pop them into the oven at 350 degrees so that the center has a chance to firm up. We want that egg to be nice and cooked. Now it's time to plate. So I created some height with these little baby potatoes that I roasted in truffle oil. I top it with my crab cake, up one got away, tuck it back in, make sure I wipe the plate because plate presentation is everything. Clean plates are a must. Then I added some uh, roasted asparagus so that it was uh, nice and colorful and I had some plate coverage. So I have my protein, starch, and veg. Next up is what? Sauce. We always put a sauce with our protein, and so we have our mustard sauce, and that is going to go in, oh, oh, after I wipe the plate for a second time, uh, always got to have clean plates, and um, now we're just going to top with our honey mustard sauce, a little dollop on the cake, and a little uh, fancy little whoosh on the side, uh, it just makes it very pretty, and it takes up room on the plate, uh, so we don't have any blank spaces, and then I topped with a little bit of flash fried leeks that are crispy and savory and they just went really well with the crab cake and and that's it guys that was that was the dinner I made the other night uh, I wanted to film it and show you guys uh, how easy it is and uh, I've been making these crab cakes forever and they're delicious you're gonna love them don't forget to subscribe like and share guys thanks